Hello, I'm Dr. Maureen Story of the American Beverage Association. When it comes to nutrition, most of us might think of nutrients like protein, vitamins like vitamin C, and minerals such as calcium and iron. We need all of these to stay healthy. But today, I'd like to talk to you about water, a nutrient that we may not think about very often, but one we cannot live without. Water is the single largest substance in our bodies. People can survive a few weeks without food, but only a few days without water. So out of all the nutrients that we need every day, water is probably the most critical. Water is important for many reasons. It helps regulate body temperature. It carries nutrients and other substances, such as hormones and enzymes, into our cells. It takes waste products out of our cells so they may be eliminated from the body through our kidneys and gastrointestinal tracts. And it's the main constituent in fluids that bathe skin cells, cushion joints, and keep muscles working. Speaking of muscles, most of us are not professional athletes who are very physically active. Nevertheless, some people have physically demanding jobs, such as construction workers, firefighters, farmers, and others or have very active jobs, such as moms chasing after young children all day. And they need to be more aware of the amount of water they're drinking and may need to increase their water and beverage intake to maintain adequate hydration. But these days, we're all being encouraged to be more physically active every day. And being more physically active in hot weather or even in cold, dry weather increases water loss due to increased sweating and through water vapor lost in respiration or breathing. That means we may need to increase intake of fluids. In 2005, the Institute of Medicine published a report that looked at adequate intakes of total water coming from the water found in food and water from drinking water and beverages. About 80% of the water consumed every day comes from the combination of drinking water and beverages. The Institute of Medicine panel that studied the issue of water and hydration found that adequate water intake from drinking water and beverages for adults who are not active and living in a temperate climate is about 13 cups per day for adult men and about nine cups a day for adult women. Data from a federal government survey show that on average, adult men and women drink about five cups or less of plain water a day. Adult women drink about another four cups of water equivalents from other beverages. So for an inactive woman going about her day in a mild outdoor temperature or an air-conditioned office, she may be consuming adequate amounts of water. However, active women may need to increase intake, especially in hot weather. Based on the government data, adult men, on the other hand, may not be drinking adequate amounts of water. Adult men are drinking about five cups or less of plain water and an additional six cups of water from other soft drinks, coffee, or tea. That means adult men, regardless of their activity levels and regardless of outdoor temperatures, are not getting adequate amounts of water and need to increase water intake from drinking water and beverages. Many of us are trying to watch our weight or lose weight these days. So we need to know that there are beverage choices that can fit any lifestyle and choose beverages that best fit into our caloric needs, especially if we're watching our weight. For those of us who are trying to reduce calorie intake, but trying to increase fluid intake, it's important to read the Nutrition Facts panel for calorie information that's shown on all of our products. In the next few months, it's going to be even easier to find how many calories are in our favorite beverages. In support of First Lady Michelle Obama's Let's Move initiative, the beverage industry has committed to placing total calorie counts on the front of all of our containers, vending machines, and fountain machines. You should begin seeing this on packages very soon. And within two years, every time consumers touch one of our beverages, they will have the calorie information at their fingertips. 
I'm Dr. Maureen Story with the American Beverage Association. Thank you for sharing a few minutes of your time with us today.